All right, and hey there, Proxy Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of The Link Between Worlds Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we went and reached on our way over here to one of the most frustrating and one of the most annoying places here within our time of Link Between Worlds, and this is going to be known as the Dark Palace. Now, I have to say, heading on into here in the very beginning part of the Dark Palace, oh boy, having to go and run away from all these different annoying type of soldiers that were going to try to basically try to capture you and having to go and literally repeat all the way back to where you last were it was not very fun if I have to say so myself but anyways we're not going to be entering into this dreaded place because I have a few other things that I want to go and do before we go and even head on into this area because I absolutely despise it with a burning passion uh, but anyways we're going to go and head back over to where the B guy is going to be and get ourselves a little bit of a reward and yes and I did say B because it is going to be a lot of B puns that are going to be happening within this episode for today because of the B guy himself uh, but we do have the golden B that we do have but also too we are going to get ourselves another master sword upgrade for what is going to be happening because we do have that first master orb back over in one of the past dungeons but we can go and pick up on another master orb and i know exactly on where we need to go and pick this one up and uh we haven't really went ahead on into this so-called fisher spot or as i say the distortion world spot that we haven't really went and uh, headed on into just yet so we're going to go and check around with that area first and then once i go and actually decide to feel like i want to go and head on into this so-called annoying area that I have to go into uh we'll worry about uh, well actually heading on into the dark palace at least at some point soon within this episode for today but let's just go and head on back over to Kakariko Village but while we are doing so I uh, just want to let you guys know that within these two videos for today is that we are going to be continuing onwards with some more of the Pokemon Coliseum let's play we are going to be heading on over to the Agate Village and we are going to be having to do a little bit of some exploring around out there I believe I just went and picked up myself with the EXP share but we'll have to wait until most of our Pokemon get all purified up and then I can go and start throwing on that EXP share on and trying to get at least most of the different uh, uh, training uh, that I do want to get at well hopefully try to get out of the way uh during our time uh within the next few uh different episodes that are gonna be happening but here is the b guy and uh let's go and get ourselves with the b badge which this is gonna be something that you want to go and pick up because uh remember those type of bees that we've been kind of seeing while we were going and cutting through like the different grass and whatnot um well basically uh this bee badge right here is that these bees are not going to be pesky no more and that is exactly what is going to be happening from here so that's the bee badge so as long as you have that bees will be friendly no more stings so of course and you know what that even means you can even find more bees and it should even be a breeze and yes uh, that is kind of a little bit of a hint where if you want to go and find more golden bees go and come back over to him he'll give you 300 rupees and you will be able to get some really nice good cash of uh, well out of all of that so very nice okay so for right now since we're already finished and done with for this for right now uh and we also do have a little bit of an opening uh for most of our bottles now because we do have another uh type of uh thing out here uh let's just go and decide to uh well i don't want to go do that uh let's just go and head over here to the witch's spot which i want to go and try to find yeah, here it is the witch's house and then we'll go and jump into the sanctuary now the sanctuary does have a special spot that is going to be something that we can't go and uh basically head on into um and i don't think we ever really went and, and, and well basically did that just yet and uh we can't get ourselves another uh, special of those lost my mys that we could go and find as well too which we should go and probably try to pick that up if i can remember exactly where we need to go for it but that dear girl no matter what trouble she gets herself into she's always bounces back with a smirk on her face yeah so we at least we went and saved up with irene and that was the main whole thing that i wanted to go and do and we got that all completed off with that other type of dungeon with that uh annoying type of flower boss that was happening but i have to say both the dark palace and i want to say the desert palace are like the two type of frustrating ones that are going to happen if i want to try and say but i want to say the dark palace is going to be a lot more worse than anything else that uh that we have to go through Okay, so with that being said in mind, let's just go ahead and head on over to the Sanctuary and pick up on that other Master Ore. So let's go and do it. Okay, thank you, Irene. Let's just go and keep on moving forward. Alright. And let's see. Yeah, I think it's just right down over here. 
Now, uh, over in my area that I live at, uh, we always have, like, this special event that always happens, like, every June, and I am super excited, uh, because, uh, I believe, I think this event goes on for, like, a few days, and, uh, what happens is, is that there's a lot of bands that come from across of, like, all different other places, and, uh, and they will be showing up here in my area, and I'm really excited to go and, uh, listen to some of the different bands that are gonna be happening. Uh, I believe, uh, I think some bands, uh, which I'm really excited about is that I think there's like Flock of Seagulls, which that's like a really cool, awesome, like 80s band that I that, that I really do like, and they're gonna be there. Uh, I think there's also like some other bands that I'm not really too familiar with because I think they're more so of like 2020-ish type of bands, if I can recall. So I, I don't think I'm gonna be really interested on those, but I'll see what happens. Now, normally some of my friends and I, we kind of go normally go and head on over to that type of event that always happens throughout June. Uh, and, uh, it's always pretty nice. I think originally before, I think it used to be, like, paid, but now I think it's, like, all free now. Huh. Because I think, uh, originally when it used to be, like, paid, those would be, like, some of the more, like, special bands. Because I remember one time I went to, like, an Offspring concert, and I think I also went to a Weezer concert as well during that same as that type of event that happened, I think, uh, last year or a few years back. Which, that was pretty fun. Alright, but anyways, uh, see, look at this. This is Dompe here in, in Lore Rule, but his name is going to be Dompe with a uh, random type of Pokemon E that's here. But, uh, can it be? Can you see Dompe? Not a soul has spoken to Dompe for as long, but Dompe's old bones are near to be falling apart. It's been so long. Dompe used to be the gravekeeper here, but now there ain't any type of graves to keep. But there was something in the graves that were protecting Dompe, can't even remember. Well, thank you, Dompe. So, yeah, so that kind of gives you a little bit of a hint, because uh, I think if we went and tried to head on over here from before, we couldn't even have the Titanmints just yet. But now, since we have the Titanmints now, it's time to go and put on that uh, good old trusty lamp to some good use to finally get to figure out exactly where we need to go. Now, heading through here, there should at least be, like, some sort of, like, lever or something that we have to go and push around at some point. I have to try to remember how this is supposed to work. And then once we get ourselves with two of these different type of, uh, ores that are going to be happening, then we have to go and head back to the blacksmith. Now, I believe we have to go and head over to the one that's in Hyrule, I think. Oh, no. We got some keys. No, 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 no. I don't like any of these keys that are going to be here. There's also going to be with a, uh, a so-called uh, small key up there. We have to go try and pick that one up. Now, if you guys remember, I think this was kind of like at the be very beginning of our time, if I can't, re if I can't recall, uh, when we went and head on into this type of place to reach out over to uh, Hyrule for the, from one of the times from before. So it kind of feels almost familiar. So if I can try to remember how we need to go and reach out over to that top part, then I'll try and remember where we need to go. Yeah, I think it's all the way up here. Okay, so now let's go and put this to good use. And then let's try to head on over through here then. Oh, here we go. Got ourselves with, a, uh, with the 20 roops right there. And I think the key should hopefully be right around here then. Okay, so we got ourselves a small key, but where in the holy heck are we going to be able to figure out where this, uh, to figure out where this locked door is going to be? Because I have no idea. I never even seen where a locked door is going to be around out here yet. Unless if it's all the way up here, maybe. Aha! Okay. So now it's all the way up here, but it looks like we ran into a little bit of a problem. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, I don't like these guys. Normally, I think the arrows will probably kind of help you a little bit more in your favor. Oh, no. Oh, God. Or maybe not. Ugh. Well, it's a good thing that I have uh, these... Well, well, my blue mail that's out here, because these guys don't have to become that much of an issue, but at least we're done with that. Thank goodness. I don't really want to have to go and use my red potion all of a sudden now. Ugh. Come on, I need at least some more health around out here. Ah, so now we have to go and try to pull on the right correcting lever, and I'm gonna say probably this is gonna be the right one, right? Yes, it was. Now, the other one will be some enemies, probably some ropes. Don't really want to go and trust it, because I already kind of know my uh, phantom hourglass, my, yeah, my phantom hourglass senses, because I've been through that type of problem before, and I don't want to have to go through it again. Thank you very much. Now, if you guys recall, uh, over around over here, I think if you went and headed on into, I want to say, the uh, the first part of the sanctuary going through here, you would be able to go and see that over at the far right-hand corner, which we didn't really want to go and do just yet, but this big, huge chest right here will give us the next Master Ore piece. So there we go. So now we have two of them now, and let's go and finally head on out of here. 
Or should we go and uh, continue a little bit onwards? Because I, I want to say, yeah, isn't there something right up here? There's a... Aha! Yes. Okay, so we have to go and head up through this way because I do want to go and pick up on this Mai Mai. And I also want to go and try to pick up with the other Mai Mai that's also as well uh, from here too. Okay, so there we go. So that one will now go and make it into a distortion spot now. But I don't know how you would able to actually be able to get all the way back up here, even if you are in the Hyrule area, though. So this is only kind of something that you kind of have to do only in the Sanctuary, and that's literally about it. But here it is. Here's the other one. Uh, but let's go and just wait for one quick second, because there is a door that's right over here. And, uh, well, a cave entrance, but let's go and pick up with that other heart piece. And now we got all the hearts back, so I'm happy about with that. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and head on over to this way and get the other lost Mai Mai. And there you go. You've been rescued, little buddy. Now we got ourselves with 39 of them now. Okay. One other thing to go and do. Let's go and head back over to the blacksmith's house, uh, which hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to find around out here. Uh, okay. Let's just go ahead right back to your house because I'm pretty sure I think we can just go and find it right from here, right? Now, I don't know if I may probably have to go and, uh, Go and talk to the other blacksmith people or talk to them from, uh, well, probably from here. Hmm. We'll have to see. So let's go up through this way for a quick second. And let's go and find out where the blacksmith's house is because I think it wasn't all that too far from the last time. Ah, but here's also this area as well too because we don't want to forget about this part. And I don't think we ever even went and checked out this one either. And there's also another heart piece. And now we got ourselves a heart container. Woohoo! Another heart before heading on into that dreaded freaking dungeon. Uh, don't even like it. Okay, let's go ahead and head on into here, though. Okay, now you are going to be someone that I may probably have to go and talk to. The wife and I, we've searched everywhere for Gully, but he's nowhere to be found. What if the monsters got... Oh, no, there can't be. Not our little boy, but tell me, Proxy, is going to be all right. Uh, sorry, just give me one second. Hey, you got two pieces of Master Sword, don't you? How about I go and temper with that sword? Sure. All right, so now our Master Sword is going to get a little bit better now and do a lot more damage, which that is awesome. I've been waiting for this day for it to happen, but now we got Impresso, so I saved some of myself. I doubt that I will ever temper a blade so fine again in my life, but now I know that there's a lot of things that you gotta do. Maybe this will go and help out somehow. And with that, we got ourselves the increase of the power of the Master Sword. You can now really go feel the difference. So look how crazy our Master Sword is now. Now we do have a, uh, a more so of like a purplish, reddish type of color now. So do you think that you could go and find Gully? Well, maybe I think I could. So, well, I guess I should go and get back to work too. Okay, well, we'll have to be on the lookout for Gully then. Don't worry, we'll go and find out where he's going to be at some point. But it's just for right now, I just need to go and continue onwards with the Dark Palace so we can at least go and do a little bit of some uh, look seeing around out here. But this is going to be so awesome. I can't wait till we go and finally use our Master Sword now. The upgraded Master Sword at this point, which that is going to be awesome. Now, uh, I think uh, during my time uh, throughout this week, I will try and go and do an R. Luigi's Mansion for you guys. Uh, but again, since everything is going to be all post-recorded, uh, you guys will uh, hopefully get to see... Uh, well, if you guys don't, uh, well, are able to not make it, uh, not to worry. Uh, there will be a video replay and all that type of stuff that's going to be there. So that you guys will be able to go and check it out uh, at, at, well, at any time if you want to feel like uh, watching it. Uh, for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, because I believe we are going to be heading on into the boss battle. Uh, that is going to be with the spider boss, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Can't wait till we go and do that one there. And uh, let's go and finally head on into this dreaded place. With an extra heart container on our side, let's go and finally do it. Now, coming around through here, uh, you get to see that there's going to be all these different weird type of uh, pedestal things that are going to be uh, using for the lamp. Uh, you don't really need to go and use it for right now, but since we do have the, well, since we kind of do have like the lamp on us for right now, we can kind of see things a little bit better. Um, but majority of this area of the Dark Palace is basically because it's known as the Dark Palace because there's going to be a lot of uh, darkness type of stuff that's going to be happening from here. And uh, some things are going to be a little bit tricky to kind of go and see around because I think even in this part, uh, you don't want to go and try to fall around through anything, even though that there could actually be something around out here because I do see that there looks like there's something kind of poking out of the darkness there, but we can't really go and do that right now at the moment. 
But if you guys see this weird type of square that's over this way, well, what we need to go and do is drop down a bomb here. And you could also drop another bomb uh, over at the... Whoa, okay, that was really close. Uh, but if you ever do get yourself, like, if you feel like you're, like, soft locked or anything, not to worry. You can always go and pick up the bomb and you can always go and toss it right on over to where that's going to be. And you can always get that uh, type of switch always back over to you. But what we do need to do is that if you guys do see all the way up top here... Uh, we do need to go and uh, destroy out with that other type of window there. And now we got ourselves with two eyeballs and we can go and head on into a little bit more into this place. But oh geez. Okay, well at least we at least now we know where the heck that we're going to at this point. So yeah, if you guys, if you remember from before, uh, we couldn't really go and see anything that was happening. But now since we do have this type of light here and we also do have our lamp, we can actually just kind of see what is happening now. Oh, so it looks like there's supposed to be like a hidden uh, type of platform there. Oh boy, and we got ourselves with Helmosaurs. I am not a big fan of these guys, but if you know how Helmosaurs kind of work, I think you could actually go and, uh, yeah, just use your hook shot on them and you can kind of make sure that they kind of just disappear out of nowhere. There we go. So it looks like we can get ourselves into, oh, well, there's our key. And that looks like a hook shot type of spot. So this whole area feels like, uh, we need to go and uh, use our hookshot for a little bit. Now I wonder, can I just go and hookshot the key that's going to be here? There we go. Look at that. Don't even need to even worry about falling through, uh, throughout my time in here in this area. Because I don't want to do that. <laughs> there we go. So now we can just go and open up our way and continue onwards a little bit more. Looks like we got ourselves this type of big huge spot. Don't know what's going to happen throughout here now. Whoa. Ouch. Yeah, this feels almost exactly like from what happened in Eastern Palace with those moving type of blocks that were happening from the last time. Yeah, these things are going to be out here again. Uh, and I kind of like how this whole area kind of feels like almost like a circus carnival. Kind of feels like uh, Kirby of the Forgotten Land all over again, even though that this game never even came out like during the time. Because Kirby of the Forgotten Land, I think, uh, came out, like I want to say, like during last year. <laughs> But I don't want to have to go through this type of part right now. Because I think there's like a few other different spots here. Oh boy, it's these guys. Now, if you guys ever want to play Link to the Past before, these guys are really annoying. And let me just say that you need to have arrows here like at all costs. Yeah, and I think if you just go and just uh, kind of do something like this. Yeah, just keep on using your arrows. And you see the, those red guys out there? Those red guys will literally try to hurt you if you kind of line up at, at, at exactly where you are. So, ah, oh my god, I don't like these annoying red dudes. Oh, man. Well, I think for right now, I think I would rather go and hit his buddy up here first. There we go. Just get, Well, I'll keep that extra heart for right now. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, I got you. Finally, those guys are done. I remember there was like a time, I think in Link to the Past, where I think there was like two of those red guys before, and I think we could probably go and see that again. Okay, so it looks like we could go and head all the way up into that little direction, and I think that can probably take us right into our chest. Probably give us ourselves with like a key or something around up in here. Okay, I do. I do see that there looks like to be like a chest up around in here. Oh boy, there's guineas. Welcome to the area where we're going to be seeing a lot of guineas around out here as well too. I love guineas. They're, 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 they're really adorable. They're like, uh, they're like booze in this game. And you only get to see them only, like, only so much. But we're gonna be able to go see them again at some point soon. Alright, so let's go and throw this on down. I'm gonna see what this can happen. So, we need to go and do another one as well. Ugh. Okay, and hopefully that also works as well, too. There we go. Now we got ourselves with a chest right there. I don't know if that's going to give us a key or not, but let's go and check. Gives us ourselves with a compass. Very handy. And it looks like there is two chests that we can go and find. We'll just have to uh, figure out what's happening from here. So this takes us right back to the very beginning. So how in the heck am I supposed to grab out on a key that's going to be somewhere around out here? Because I saw that there was a chest right around in this area, and I have no idea on how we're supposed to grab it. Unless if I have to go and maybe head up into the top part or something around up in here. Oh, okay, maybe do something like this. Hold on. Maybe if I blow this up, maybe this will take me down to a little bit into a 
hidden area. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. First key to go to find around out here. Nice. And, oh, more guineas. No, 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 no. I like you guys, but you're becoming annoying now. Yeah, these guys also like to hide in the dark. Why not? Because they always like to do this type of annoying stuff. So where the heck am I am now? Okay, so there looks like to be a, upstairs. And there looks to be like another key to go and find. That's right in here into this area. Oh my god. Uh, I don't really want to trust this spot. But I think what you need to kind of go and do is look at your map. And you kind of spot out exactly where you're heading towards to. Just kind of head straight down from here. I know that I do see a, another one of these Helmosaur guys for right now. There we go. Just push them off. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to head down this way. Hopefully I don't fall. No, I fell. Dang it. Ugh. I have to look at my map. I have to look at my map. What the heck? What is going on? It, it told me to head down from here. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, Up here, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I see where this guy's at. I'm going to probably have to head over here. Oh, no. Oh, come on, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just confuse him. Just confuse him, please. Yes. Oh, just move out of the way. Just move. All right, thank you. I got the key. Oh, thank goodness. Now we can go and get ourselves out of here now. Hopefully, if I can remember exactly where we need to go from here. All right, and then head down all the way down from here. And you should be able to go and see that there is a chest around up in this part. I'm going to pick it up if I can, but it looks like I can't do it. No. So there's another spot to go and fall down around out here. Okay, Helmosaur. At least these Helmosaurs kind of at least know exactly where you need to go from here. So just follow where this guy is at, and I think we finally made it out. Phew. Oh boy, and there's the uh, there's the boss door. At least we're making like at least some sort of good progress out here for now. Uh, well, I think what we should probably go and do is probably hold off on this key for now, or should we go and do it here at this point? Uh, there's two different keys areas type of spots. I guess we'll go here from now, because this could probably lead us into another type of uh, spot from here. Oh my god. Yeah, this is where things are going to get much worse. Uh, I don't like this part. Uh, and I think what we should probably go and do is just maybe take care of this area just for now. Uh, oh no, I can't even head on over to anywhere. Oh, how am I even supposed to even... Do I have to, like, throw my bomb, like, up top on, on like, some sort of area that's from here? Because I wonder if that's what has to happen. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, I think we have enough reach. There we go. There we go, and I think that should do it. Oh, wait, there's another one? Where's the other one? Over oh, right here. Oh, thank you. We got a big boy chest. What the heck is that going to give me? The big key? Hopefully it does. Oh, the big key. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got the big key. We're out of here now. Well, almost. Even though that we can't even go and do anything about it because it's like been locked around out in here. Oh, God. And we got this part too. All right. You know what? This will probably be the last thing that we have to go and do then. Because I wonder... We kind of have to go and use our ice rod for this. Yep. Just drop him. Just drop him. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why did I do this? Just get him out of here. Oh, okay. So, he's already down. Already this way. Yes. Just knock him out, please. Ugh. Get this other guy out of here, dude. Really? Ugh. Can I just go and freeze him down? Alright. Just make him walk all the way down here. There you go. Now you're done. Nice. Let's go and finally get this guy risen up. And now we got ourselves a teleporter. Phew. Yay. We got a teleporter. Now we don't ever have to go and worry about ever having to go and take those stairs again. 
And there we are. So, guys, I'm going to go and edit off here for today. At least we went and accomplished out with halfway throughout our time out here. We got ourselves with the big key. I'm already happy about with that. And we'll end it off. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And, of course, peace.